Hello and welcome to Larry Has Opinions. This is the first of a series of videos that I'm going to post about looking back to 2021 and picking my best and worst books for the year. Very original, I have to say. So let's just get into it. Okay, let's start from my only DNF for the whole year, and that's Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. I can't pretend for a second that I'm cultured enough to comment on the merits of modernism or anything like that. I can just say that as far as I'm concerned, I pretty much hated it. <laughs> it was my first Virginia Woolf. I have not read anything by her before. So I was kind of curious and keen. And to be perfectly honest, I expected to like it. So I started reading it a little bit every day. Um, and I really was not getting on with it. So I took a break. And then someone told me, but you probably need to read bigger chunks in one go to get into the rhythm of the book. So I tried that. I had a longer flight. So I read about 40% of it um, over like a one day uh, period, something like that. And I still couldn't stand it. <laughs> I think a lot of you would already be familiar with the story, even though there isn't much of a story, but it all revolves around uh, a small number of characters in London on one specific day. And we just follow their daily lives and inner thoughts and inner monologues and daily occupation and preoccupations with a lot of flashbacks as well into their pasts. But I just found it so tedious, I think is the right word. Um, there's all these pretty mundane preoccupations around, oh, I need to mend my dress, fetch my servants because... I've got the party with all the posh people coming over tonight. Am I a good wife? Oh, who knows? Maybe I should have got married to someone else. Oh, I just, I just really <laughs> not get on with it. So I'm not sure. I might pick up something else by Virginia Woolf at some point, quite possibly. But this one, I think as far as I'm concerned, is probably I'm done with. Moving on to Oranges Are Not The Only Fruit by Jeanette Winterson. And this one I picked up because last year I read... Frankenstein, which I really, really enjoyed, possibly more than I expected to. So I was really keen and really expecting it to like this one because this is her debut novel and I know that it's one of her most beloved works. And to be honest, I quite enjoy the more straightforward side of the book. It's about this girl who grows up in a very narrow-minded environment um, trying to find her own sexuality and having this really religious mother that was a bit unbalanced <laughs> in a way. Um, so that side of the story, I actually, I did enjoy quite a lot. But the writing, I wasn't too sure about. There's a lot of, sort of patronizing sort of wording at times. And even more so, the, the whole fantasy-like elements that she added to the story did not work for me at all. Uh, there's all these cheap metaphors where there's this character that's looking for the Holy Grail and goes into the forest. I can't even remember very well, but it just seemed so cheap and amateurish that really put me off f f the whole of the book. So given my experience with Frankenstein, I, I'm quite confident I might pick up more books by her, but this one really did not work for me. Then I have On the Beach by Neville Shoot. This is a classic post-apocalyptic story which was written in the last century. And it all takes place in Australia, which is the last place on the planet that has survived so far a nuclear meltdown. And essentially we know that there's these radiations moving closer and closer day by day. So people know they're condemned to eventual annihilation, but for the time being, everything seems to carry on as normal. So some of the elements of the book were really uh, interesting because it's quite fascinating to see how people will react to that sort of scenario and some of the questions as well that it brings up like what if you have a small child what do you do in that situation something that no one really wants to even think about or, or consider so the premise was just straight up my alley i really expected i would love this book but the execution just let me down completely it was not really that believable i was sort of expecting to see some sort of societal breakdown, but everyone seems to carry on as if nothing happened, going sailing, going to art galleries and drinking port at the restaurant. Um, just everything seemed very mundane and you had all these um, like butlers and servants that were still happy to carry on serving their masters. And like, it, it just seemed very trivial. 
Um, so it, I'm afraid it didn't really work for me. I thought the premise was great and the, it had so much potential and so much more that it could have explored and pushed the boundary of. And I understand that at the time, this would have been really shocking because of the resonance of what a nuclear meltdown would have back in those days. But I have to say now it feels really, really dated. So this is another one that did not really work for me this year. And then lastly, I have The Wasp Factory by Ian Banks. And here we follow this Scottish teenager who's capable of some pretty horrific stuff. And we follow his day-to-day -day life, his inner thoughts, and we get to find out more about his background, his family, and the things that he's done in the past. And I was really expecting to like this because I tend to enjoy, if enjoying is the right word, stories that are very dark, a bit twisted, and where the author pushes the narrative to places that I think most people will find a bit uncomfortable. But this one really did not work for me. I, I found it very repetitive. There's a lot of like really mundane details about his day-to-day -day life, which was clearly a very deliberate choice, but I just found it incredibly uninteresting. And then they're interrupted by these really shocking events that felt very much like shocking for shock value. Rather than something very impactful, they're more of a eye roll sort of shock. And then this ending that I think would have probably been very controversial 40 years ago when this was published. But I think today would just feel very like uh, one more eye roll and just completely uninteresting again. So I'm afraid this was another thumbs down for me. I hope you guys like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what your least favorite book for the year was. Join our Discord. The link is in the description box. And I'll see you the next time.